so class 9 today we are again going to start with writing topic that is descriptive paragraph okay so we are going to start with descriptive paragraph as on that day we have done for a person okay so as mainly of person is in your syllabus but i think that you should also know about you can say of place so suppose we have to write on for place also okay so similarly like that we are writing for a person first of all we will start with the topic sentence okay in which you will write a you can say impressive or catchy start okay for the place you are going to describe okay <coughs> then you will give the <coughs> <laughs> name of place okay name of place where it is situated you will also mention about the location of the place means <coughs> about its quality which kind of surroundings healthy green what kind of surroundings are there you will explain about it okay so after writing it you will write about it main purpose it serves the main purpose that it serve how it is you can say how it is utilized by people or public how it is so beneficial for people and public how they are utilizing it what is its utility and how it can be beneficial for the people okay if it is you can say uh, if it is any you can say public place to visit then what are the main visiting hours there okay main visiting hours main visiting hours about the place okay that what are the various you can say <coughs> visiting hours of the place when people used to come what is the reason why they are coming there okay and if it is any you can say mall or you can say shopping complex then you will mention about its mention about its sub parts means what are the different type of shops what are the various places and finally in the conclusion part as we have written in that of person your personal comment or personal opinion along with highlighting the utility of that place along with highlighting the utility of that place okay so similarly as we are writing a descriptive paragraph for that of person in which you are also starting with topic sentence then you are writing about the details about the hobbies about qualification profession professional life relation with others how he is beneficial to society and to the family and ultimately <coughs> you are giving a comment similarly we are going to start in for a place also topic sentence then details and then afterwards we are going coming to the conclusion to that place okay about that place that how that place is quite useful for example suppose suppose you are writing about your school suppose somebody has told you to write a descriptive paragraph about your school so you will mention a school is a temple of learning where all come where all come in uniform to seek knowledge to acquire knowledge and the name of my school is so and so it is situated where it is situated and it is located in a residential area but it is providing quite you can say it is providing atmosphere active means quite appropriate to that of learning okay 
there are you can say dash number of rooms in the school and each room is equipped with all the basic requirements of a classroom including desk blackboard the rooms are well ventilated as well as spacious as well as you can also mention well lit means proper light system is there okay then the faculty teaching in the school they are also of course quite you can say knowledgeable as well as skill in order to deliver the knowledge of the topics clearly as well as accurately all the students they have different periods in order to this in order to study the subjects in order to gain knowledge of the subjects apart from learning period there were short breaks also that is including lunch break as well as the fruit break in which the students can enjoy their lunch as well as fruits there is also uh, there is also you can say provision of recreation of children as they are provided with special sports room gymnastic room or you can say games period during which the students play their play the games of their interest okay and during the classes there are held doubt sessions also in which the students can clear their doubts okay so you can mention in detail whatever comes to your mind about that place okay then ultimately your conclusion as as the as the school providing knowledge at its best so i think that it is a good purpose to serve the society and definitely my school is doing this as it is providing you can say good citizens to be the future citizens of india who will definitely help in the growth of our country so in this manner you will write down descriptive paragraph about your school okay so now next is first of all let me know that it is clear it is clear to you all is it clear okay fine now afterwards suppose i have given you uh, i have given you to write a descriptive paragraph on any children's park okay now children park write a descriptive paragraph write down descriptive paragraph on children's park suppose i have given you this park first of all the simplest one as it is the related one that i have done just now okay so now just raise up your hands how you can start yes how you can start how you can start this yes dia let me unmute you yes a park is like a heaven to every child uh, children's park are located in every locality uh, uh, everyone prefers to spend their evening uh, every child prefers to spend his or her evening in the park uh, or enjoying the place of recreation for children as well as adult ones also okay so next how you will explain about how you will come out with the details of the park so i'm just giving you one minute to you all one or two minutes to jot down your points then you will start speaking okay so i'm just giving you one or two minutes you just please jot down the main points and then you people will start speaking yes preserve preserve a yes a park is a basically mm -hmm. yes ma'am a park is basically a preserved area of land meant for people to come and relax mm -hmm. enjoy and spend some time with their friends and with their friends and get free from their daily routine of their home and work mm -hmm. a children's park is a park meant for children to come in the morning and evenings mm -hmm. to spend their time in the open and fresh air mm -hmm. A children's park has several play things for them to play with and enjoy. There are swings, slides, roads for hanging upon for exercise, mm -hmm. and many other such items. Mm -hmm. In the morning, these parks in these parks, children come with their parents or elders for walks, exercises, and jogging. Mm -hmm. While in the evening time, that they are again there for playing and having a good time. 
after hmm. a heavy school routine hmm yes we can also see playing children badminton cricket there with their friends hmm. and uh, sometimes children here children here come to study uh, who don't have uh, silence in their houses come in the fresh air hmm. to study in silence hmm. and uh, the site of children's park is simply a place where they where they are So yeah, for the size, na you can go at the starting. It is you can say it is spread in area of this hectares. Okay, so in this manner, you will start at the give. You should give it at the start. Okay, speak now. Yes, ma'am. So park is a for park is for the children, for the young uh, young ones also come mm -hmm. here to enjoy, and the elders with them come to see them enjoy. Mom, done. Who else will speak? Who else will speak? Mommy, yes, please. A, a child's park is like a a park is like a heaven to many children. It is a it has a great utility for everyone in the society. Uh, it is surrounded by trees, green lush grasses, as far as the eye can see, and is a fit environment to play. It mm. provides a place for recreation for children. And one minute, as a place yeah, one for... minute. I want to interrupt you here. So here you are telling about importance of park, but I have told you to speak about children's park. Okay, children's park near your house. So you will mention that there is a park situated near my house. Okay, then you will start. Okay, so where it is spread. Okay, you are not supposed to write down on a simple paragraph. Right? Yes. Yeah, speak. It covers a. Uh... A children's park is situated near my house. Uh, it is. It covers a great uh, area, and as far as the eye can see, there is greenery, trees, and children. Uh, daily children come and play in the park. Mm -hmm. It provides a recreational place for children. Mm -hmm. uh, they they spend their leisure time and enjoy basking in the sun on uh, cold days. Mm -hmm. uh, children go to park in evening to play, and as well as in the morning. Hmm. morning or for pick or for a picnic hmm. it is a uh, there are uh, butterflies squirrels all around uh, seeing them uh, makes a child very happy hmm. uh, children can be seen uh, playing badminton cricket volleyball etc not only does it make them happy and as well as exercise in the morning as well as evening okay it is a place of you can say humming bees all the time yes continue not only does the uh, does playing makes makes them happy but also physically fit which is a great necess necessity uh, in today's environment hmm. so finally a special you can say committee has also been founded by our society to maintain this park okay the gardener is being regularly Uh, to uh, to plant some you can say seasonal plants as well as seasonal flowering plants and it is really a place of serenity where everyone attains calmness whenever one is feeling tired of the daily routine and people used to take care of this area as well okay right so, yes next lavlina yes lavlina you can speak sneha finally has come hai na she is regular absentee hmm yes Lavina, you can speak. I have unmuted you. Yes. Park is a site of recreation for people of all ages. Mm hmm. Uh, there is a park near in my locality near my house. As you enter the park by pushing its big big black gate, you can hear the shouting of kids, and uh, the air is filled with the voices of people. On the left hand and right hand side. Hmm. there are many kids with people sitting under them reading books or having picnics hmm. in front there is a path that goes straight and then divides into two one going to the left and the other to the right very good if you take the right path you could hear the shouting of children louder than before there very are kids running here and there playing football in the field yelling hmm. at each other to pass hmm. you could taste their dust in your mouth Straight ahead, there is a big playground full of small children on the slides and roundabouts. We could smell the small pieces of wood that are all over the playground. 
there is a big blue seesaw in the middle of the playground and on the left of it it is a there is a red and green uh, roundabout going round and round like wheels of the car hmm. if you had taken the left path you see a big cycling track that goes around the boundaries of the park under the big trees and ends up in a lap right. following the path you see a big lake with people fishing around it hmm. the water in as the dark as ink and indeed is very deep you see children sitting in their father's lap holding a fishing rod laughing and their fathers giving back a smile while holding the rod in case their children lost their grip mm. after crossing the big lake you can see many other swings uh, around the park so in this way a park uh, the sight of the park can be very joyful Hmm. Lovely, isn't it? It's your imagination that there is a fishing uh, area also, pond. Yes, ma'am. I have read in the books that uh, usually there are uh, just small ponds in the park, so that I wrote down. So I think of all those who have spoken, the Vina's description is the best one. Okay, very good, Lavina. And one Panika you, is also eager to speak. Am I right, Lavina? Uh, Panika, where are you? Yes. Now you can speak so that we can will proceed further. Yes, it's your turn, Panika. Yes, ma'am. Children's park is the place all children love to go. Yes. Park in our city is very huge. Mm -hmm. uh, there are about four play areas uh, with different kinds of play things. Mm -hmm. The area of small children has swings, seesaw, mm -hmm. and slides. Then there is a playground where children can play games like badminton, volleyball, etc. Mm -hmm. There is a ball court as well. Mm -hmm. Back of the park, there is a tennis court. Mm -hmm. Apart from these, uh, there are green areas for parents to play with the children. Mm -hmm. families, families, many families come here for mm -hmm. outdoor activities and enjoy picnics, especially during the winters. Mm -hmm. There are many trees. Uh, as a result, during summers, this park remains cool in all the day and uh, uh, we all, you all should visit this park. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. So good effort by all of you. So I really appreciate. I know that you people will come out with beautiful ideas and really you have come up with beautiful ideas. Very well written by all. All good efforts have been put up by you. Okay, so yes, the one thing comes to my mind is that uh, I thought that in order to enhance your vocabulary, I will provide you one or two idioms in between or some, you can say, new words to you. Okay, so... I'm writing here one or two idioms that comes to my mind. You will tell me the meaning of this. Once in a blue moon. What is the meaning of this? Once in a blue moon. Okay, very good. Children know. Yes, Lavlina. Dia. Once in a once in a very long time. Ah, very rarely, very rarely. Okay, explore all avenues. Considering all options. All options. Considering all options or taking uh, con taking under consideration all the possible ways. Okay, so tomorrow we will come up, I will come up with some new words also, some new, you can say, idioms for you people. What is the meaning of yes, this? Raining like cats and dogs. Raining like cats and dogs. Do you know? Yes. Yes. Anybody? Raining very heavy. Raining very Raining heavy. Very, heavy. Very, very hard. Okay. Uh, Break a leg. Rain is very heavy. Break a leg. What is the meaning of this? Break a leg. To wish good luck to someone. Okay. It's not like breaking a leg. It means wishing good luck to someone. Okay. So tomorrow uh, again, we will have this very short session in which you will come to know about new idioms and all. Oh my God, just five minutes are left for the class. So before that, before ending the class, um, let me give you some sentences here for narration. Okay. For example, first is, he said, because on that day we have revised the rules. First is, he said, we are early today. 
We are early today. Yes. Who will change it? Yes. Oh, don't mute yourself again and again. Yes, Sarsh, please. He said that they they were early today. They were that early day. that day. Next is she said to me. She said to me, I'm going to a movie. I am going to a movie tomorrow. Yes. What is the she right? told me that she told me that she was going to a movie the next day. The next day. Very good. The next day. Next is the tourist said to the guide, the tourist said to the guide, I liked, I like, I liked Delhi very much. Yes, I liked Delhi very much. Speak the answer. Oh my God, you have muted yourself again. Mute, unmute yourselves. Yes. The tourist told the guide that he had liked the Delhi very much. He had liked Delhi very much. Now the last one, the teacher said to the students, the teacher said to the students, Apples grow in Shimla. Apples grow in Shimla. Yes. The teacher told the students that apples grow in Shimla. Uh, there won't be any change as this is the fact. Okay. So with these five sentences, we are concluding the class today. Tomorrow we will continue further with the narration as well as another writing skill. So that's all for today. Have a nice day to you all.